From the config menu, select the auto input switch item. By selecting the flag, we enable the RVA function. This allows the switching of the analog OEM head unit master input to an auxiliary source. By default, it is disabled. If it has not been activated previously during the configuration wizard, the function can be activated at any time as in our case. In our system, we use a high-res digital audio player connected to the digital optical input of the Bit1 HD Virtuoso. Therefore, we will use the optical digital auxiliary input 1. The function is also available for the analog auxiliary input and the digital optical number 2. The threshold parameter allows you to set the switching level with the volume control of the head unit from the auxiliary input of the processor to the master input. In our case, therefore, when the signal is below 60 dB, the processor automatically switches to the master. This is a useful function to have full priority on the service signals of your car. If the auto gain function is activated, in addition to switching function from auxiliary input to the master input, you can adjust the bit 1 HD output level with the volume control of the OEM source. By enabling auto balance slash fader, it is possible to adjust the balance and fader of the system connected to the bit 1 HD virtuoso with the OEM head unit control. If you enable the auto gain function, it will no longer be possible to use the DRC MP command supplied when the auxiliary input, in this case optical, of the Bit1 HD Virtuoso is active. By disabling auto gain, it will instead be possible to adjust the volume, fader, and bounce level of the DSP from the DRC MP. In our case, we do not use the auto balance fader function because in our setup, we do not have rear inputs connected to the Bit1 HD Virtuoso. The extended menu on the left allows you to set both the attack time, which is the switching time from the master source to the auxiliary source with a minimum of 13.33 milliseconds, and the release time, which is the switching time from the auxiliary source to the master OEM source. The lower these values are, the more reactive the switching will be, so we will not lose any car information signals during the switch, such as phone rings, parking sensor signals, and navigation indications. Response times can also be increased to obtain a softer and less intrusive transition. The default tone frequency is set to 16.5 kHz, like the signal tone recorded on the Audison RVA USB drive supplied with the Bit1 HD Virtuoso. It is also possible to change the tone. You can change the tone by navigating to the RVA USB drive, unzip the tone folder, and choose the desired tone frequency. Each tone folder contains different tone levels that start from minus 3 to minus 12 dB. By trying to decrease or increase the level of the chosen tone, depending on the type of OEM head unit, we obtain a better level of adjustment in the final turn of the volume knob. If we notice high frequency noise or incorrect switching, we have to test a different frequency tone. When choosing a different frequency tone, it is important that the same and unique tone is stored in the USB drive. The files are also available on the Bit1 HD Virtuoso webpage on the Audison website www.audison.eu. At this point, your setup is complete. Just finalize and test auto input switch function.